is okay so um, this is my first time doing it for my computer so bear with me I feel like it looks a little weird but so um, I want to show you guys look over here oh okay so over here this is my haul from Disney World okay so i um, gonna put you back down here adjust it a little bit so um we got lots of stuff and it's been sitting here on my couch so i didn't mess with it but um simba or samuel um is coming next week so um the prize that i got for him at disney i want to be able to give it to him in the hospital so um i have to go and do this haul so i can get stuff out and my girls want to play with stuff too so we'll have to figure it out so i'm just gonna randomly grab stuff and just tell you what it is and the awesome things that it was. We had an amazing trip. Um, thanks to Michelle from Destinations in Florida. She was super awesome and we'll end up doing stuff with her again. Um, so we uh, love it. Um, but so let's get down to the hall because there's a lot of stuff and it might take a while. All right. So first bag. So we're here in my family room and my family room is um, I'm incorporating lots of Disney stuff in it. But one of the places we went to, by the way, Almost all of the stuff I bought from gift cards that I earned doing swag bucks. Um, I ended up having some all the swag bucks and um, cashed them in after my trip was paid and um, was able to have it and have a great good amount of money on um, Disney gift cards so that I could spend money like I wanted to and buy tons of gifts and stuff. So. Um, and actually, there's still some things that I didn't end up getting because we were having so much fun doing all kinds of stuff. Shopping was not a priority. I know that sounds crazy because you just saw how many bags I have. But, you know. So, but one of the days um, that we went, we ended up going to uh, the outlet store over Prime Outlets on um, International Drive. <clears throat> so, there I got these. I don't know if I finished the sentence about what my family room is. Anyhow... My family room is, as you can see, like tropical, um, you know, palm trees. My kitchen's pineapple and palm trees. So this whole area is kind of that. So we've been incorporating things from like Adventureland. I've got some Adventureland plates and, you know, just different, you know, Ohana means family on my wall. So we're doing all these kind of tropical things, Disney-inspired tropical things. So um, when I found these, oh my goodness, Adventureland. Um... They're normally $26.95. I got them for $8.99. Hot dog. Um, I got two of them. And so they will go here on my little end tables. And it will be amazing. Um, and then I'll put pictures of the girls in different places. Um, so I was really, really excited about that. So i got to save these. Here's my receipts. Photo pass. Oh, my goodness. So here's my other one, obviously. And... Um, yeah, so, and they kept them all nice, made it home, safe and sound, adored. Okay, so I'm just going to throw everything around, and let's see here. Um, some extra amazing things is, because we were celebrating Gabby's adoption, which you guys saw her a couple weeks ago, but, um, so at Cinderella's, nope, just kidding, at... This one was Gabby's and it's ripped. But at uh, Garden Grill, we got this card because we were celebrating Gabby's adoption. And so all of the characters just made a big deal about it and they gave us this card. But it says happy birthday on the, fir on the front. But our waiter said they wanted us to have something to have in memory. So they gave the girls, both of them, one. And um, it's a happy birthday, but it's a celebration, they said. And they said they didn't have any other cup of cards so they wanted to make sure we got one so I thought that was sweet the gesture was sweet and then when we were at Nemo the seas with Nemo and friends um Libby was the the dive buddy so she got to go up and help them so she got this wonderful little certificate and it's a little beaten up but we will put it in somewhere really cool um and so it'll flatten out and so she can have it but um, just a little scrapbook or something. But this was her memory from that. So super cool. Um, what an awesome time. She just was able to do it. And you'll see it in the videos coming up soon. Or sometime. Um, 
one of the places that we went to was downtown Disney, and I was really excited to go to this store. Um, I say it's unique low. I don't know. So I saw, I had seen that people had put, um, that they'd gone there and they had some Disney shirts for really cheap. So I was kind of looking. They had a lot of really great stuff. Um, if you're poo-sized, not so much amazing things, but I did try on one shirt that fit me pretty good and I liked it. And I thought I can wear it in the summer. I can wear it in the winter um, with the sweater over it, which is kind of the thing I do. So um, I ended up getting... Oh my gosh, it's inside out. Um, please pause. So this cute little Mickey Mouse shirt. Um, it's an extra sticker. So it's just it's just cute. It's got little palm trees. Super fun. Um, white because I figured it'd go with lots of stuff. And this was actually fourteen ninety, but they had it on sale I think for eight dollars. Um, so or eight. Eight dollars, nine dollars, one of the two. Um, so I just thought it's just a muscle T-shirt. Um, the days that we end up going to the parks, I would have ended up wearing it, but it um, was white and it was rainy, so I chose not to. All right, so there's that. Let's see what else. Um, another. I mean, we didn't buy this, but this is from Cinderella's Royal Table. So they had the wand ceremony, which. I've seen the one ceremony, but they really actually didn't do it, or it was so loud you couldn't hear it, um, or the princesses were there, and, you know, it wasn't as big a deal, but um, we kept it because the girls, um, these actually became weapons, because my girls are two and four, so we had to hide these because they kept hitting each other, so, but here's one of the memories, things that we got, and then, let's just do, oh, yes. So because we went to, um, some of you know or not, but we ended up going an extra day, getting an extra day, because I was injured on a ride, um, Peter Pan, which is my favorite ride, which is sad, um, but they had to stop it, and um, but that'll all be explained later in the video, so keep watching. But So we ended up going to the Halloween party, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, um, for free. And so um, we ended up going there. So, of course, we're going to grab the candy. Um, that was something we were not prepared for. So we got lots of bags of candy. So they got the Beauty and the Beast. Um, this all actually will be going in a bowl to either give to Children's Church or hand out to, um, you know, when they had M&M's. But we'll give this candy away. So, um, Louise ate some of the um, Skittles, but yeah, There's another bag full, you know, I don't know, tons of candy, we don't need it, so it's been sitting over here on the couch, and more candy in that bag, we'll just go ahead, put that there, apparently it was sponsored by M&M's, Dove, Skittles, and Snickers from Mars. So that was who sponsored the candy, which I was a little sad because it was a whole bunch of chocolate and it was very hot. Um, so I kind of, I mean, there were Starburst and stuff, but I'd rather it just be, I don't know. Last year they had Craisins and they had just some nice alternatives, but um, Tinkerbell came and visited us while we were there and every morning she would come and so here's one of the things that she brought um it is a Nemo bracelet so this was actually Gabby's but um and Libby had an Elsa one I think I don't know so there's the, that one and um of course I already said we were celebrating so here is one of our celebrating pins and um this one was Gabby's. Of course, we were selling and braiding her adoption. And we actually brought a lot of these homes. So all of our family on adoption day, everybody wore them. Um, so everybody knew that they were celebrating um, Gabby's adoption. So the rest of ours said Gabby's adoption, which is awesome because a lot of people um, came, recognized, told us how awesome. It started a lot of conversations. So these are cool. So save these, but these are some of our great haul. Because even though it was free, it was in our haul. Um, all right, so in some of my pictures you guys might have seen, 
but I got me some Mickey ears. This is my first ever. Um, I have ears like like the hat ears from other years and other things from when I was younger and before kids. And you guys know that we always get our girls um, ears as part of their thing every year. So we get a special one every year. But this year I got me some. I love them. Um, they'll go put up and I will wear them for special occasions and everything wonderful. Um, but I wore them for a couple of days and it was pretty awesome. So we did get some clothes. This is from the outlet store. I got, I didn't get anybody else. I was the only one that got clothes. Um, Cause I wear Disney stuff like at least every other day. So it makes me feel happy when I'm not there. So I got this one, it just says Walt Disney World. Um, authentic brand. Um, just cause I'm, I, I'm very hot blooded. And so I just like things and this was a size large because it was a men's. It was at the outlet mall. Normally $44.95. I got it for $12.99. Um, just something fun to wear. You know. In Indiana it gets chilly. And then, um, then this is from the outlet store too. And it's just a little tank top and it says Walt Disney World. Um, these are also wrinkly. From traveling and being in a bag for months for a month. And this was normally $32.95. I got it for $9.99. And again, I can wear it in the summertime and or I like to wear cardigans and so I would just put a black sweater on this or a pink one and wear it in the summertime or in the fall, in the winter. When it gets cold. It hasn't turned cold yet. It's gonna be 80 today. Almost the end of October. So um like I said, I got the girls. We always get them hats, but this year, this is what we got for Samuel for his room, and um, so he can have this, and um, you know, these were, I always get one for the girls, but I got, got Emma, when she was a baby, I got her her first years, and so this matches Sammy's room, so um, we wanted to go ahead and get this for him, so we got, we she opened a paper for her baby shower, and this is what it said. I will buy you this at Disney. So, I um, mean, these were $21.99. Um, we taped a lot of the hats because we always like to see what they have. So, we taped a lot of the hats for you guys, um, and that will be in some upcoming videos. But um, So, make your, sure you're subscribed. And so, this is for Samuel. And then we always get the girls one every year, so they get to pick it out. So this year, they got to choose what they wanted. And Libby chose Olaf. Isn't he adorable? Now, usually we get their names embroidered and stuff, but this, the one that Gabby chose couldn't be embroidered, so we will just write what trip it was somewhere up here in the, in the inside of the hat. So, And then they have them displayed in their room. Um, each one has their shelf and has it displayed, but adorable. And then Gabby, they are really into, they already have the Woody one. And so when she saw Buzz, she was like, Buzz, and flipped out. So of course there's, I mean, I guess we could have got it bordered, but, um, I feel like they raised their prices too. So we just opted on to. I mean, we were probably tired. I don't really know. But, so here is the one. How cute is that? And then it's got his little wings. Um, so cute. And then, I, what I liked about it is that they had, you know, the different things on his ears. So, this is for Gabby. She got Buzz. So cute. And then, we will put those up there. That bag is gone. Um, when, of course, another button. So one of the most amazing things is when you have somebody that's super awesome, like Michelle from Destinations in Florida, and she does um, plan your trip for you, you know, puts everything in, helps you. Um, so it was our first time staying on property. So she was amazing. But when we got to our room, she had had a goodie bag. She knew what we were there celebrating because she's extremely personable. Um, and so we've become friends actually through this, which is awesome. Um, but we, uh, 
she had a bag of stuff for my girls and uh, to celebrate their adoption and I just I just thought that was amazing and precious um, and so she had in there she had family forever bag this was the bag that all their stuff came in and then it's kind of dispersed because they've used it and done stuff with it so um, they this is what it came in so I'll kind of just tell you as I find stuff but she had two autograph books in there for the girls now I did not I forgot our autograph books um, from years before and so I was very very thankful that she had got this for both the girls because Gabby's old enough to do it on her own so we got this autograph book and another one just like it I don't know where it's at so we'll put that down and then another thing that was in there was this pin training lanyard and um, we did not do any pins this time and um, they're just we, honestly with the free dining and everything else we had so much stuff going on so we didn't do it but this is something they can use and we can use it later on and do it um, because it's probably something we'll tr try to do I'm not sure how much it will catch on but um, so that was really cool of her um, this is another item that I bought for me and so I like to have like I said, I wear lots of Disney stuff, but when I don't have on Disney, um, like when I have to wear normal clothes, you know, um, I like to still add Disney stuff in there. And so I usually have like my Disney bracelet, um, you know, I have Mickey ears, but I love it when I can do it and people don't really realize that I have the Disney stuff. So this is one of those things that I got and it's going to be very hard to see. Oh, guess not. Yay. Um, so this is... It's just a nice necklace that I can wear with sweaters or, you know, just stuff that when I have to dress up for things and not wear a Mickey t-shirt, um, to where I can have, and it's got, if, at first look, it's just a nice, you know, jewelry, nice necklace, but then it has the Mickey heads on it, which makes it so much more magical. And, um, so this was cost maroon. Disney does this weird thing where they have these, the prices like this, um, with a color. So, um. This actually was $19.99, so, which I thought was an excellent deal. So, speaking of jewelry, because I've been waiting to get this out so I can wear it, so let's take it over here. But, um, when I was there a previous trip, I had bought this bracelet. Um, it was like, I think it was like $39 or $35. Um, I fell in love with it, and actually my stone was black. But, in the last month prior to, the, to our trip, the inside started turning, um, and I thought it was stainless steel, um, but it was not. It was just plated. Um, so I just showed one of the cast members. I said, yeah, I said, I really love this, but I hate it. They went in the back, and they got me this one to match it, and they exchanged it out for me. Um, so it's like I've got a new bracelet. So I'm going to, you know, I need to coat it with something so it doesn't turn. Because it's something I wear almost every single day. So it's pretty awesome. I'm very excited. When we were at down. Downtown Disney, we also went to Basin. My first time ever going there. Um, and it just smelled delicious. And oh, so nice. I didn't even know. There's a whole little thing. Um, so it's probably somewhere where we will shop again. So, but in the condo that we stayed in after we left the Disney property, um, we had a huge tub that had a jacuzzi and stuff. So we bought three bath bombs. Um, and Gosh, they smell so good. So I actually, because Tim really likes baths and stuff, I'm not really into that, but he, you know, likes, to, especially if they find one big enough for him, you know, because he's a very tall dude. Um, so I bought him a couple bath bombs. And then I bought the girls one that had these little Mickey heads in there, um, which was super amazing. They loved it, and it smelled so good. It was strawberry flavored, and it was like, wow, that is so awesome. Um... But somehow we broke the jacuzzi. <laughs> so um, they had to come and fix it. And so by the time the day that we had planned for Tim to use his bath bombs, um, didn't get done. So we, we opted to wear, we will have to um, just use it another time. So um, there's the two bath bombs. But So we're working on that. So we will do that um, at another time. So our next thing, which is why we're doing this haul, 
is um, because I got this. Um, this is my most favorite thing, and I cannot wait to give it to my little Simba. Um, Simba is what we've named um, Samuel, who is coming next week. So, Mandy's, Mandy's little baby. Um, but I saw this at Animal Kingdom as we were going in. Isn't he just adorable? And he is the softest thing. I mean, I'm not really into super soft things and stuff, but this is just amazing. Um, oh my gosh. And I don't remember how much it was. It was probably around like $20. Um, maybe $21, $23. Because that's usually what their prices are. But this, um, because we call him Simba, I wanted to get something. So when he we went to the hospital, this is what I will give him. So um, this is for my Simba. And um, it's just adorable. I love it. So this is for him. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah. What else can we do? So then we always get a Christmas ornament every year when we're there. And so um, my children were acting super crazy at this point. We were at downtown or Disney Springs. And they just had had enough and were ready just to sleep. And it had been a long day. But what we ended up getting... Um, was one of the ones that they have pre-made with the, um, I just love it. Um, so they, they personalize it and stuff. So this is just a little Mickey, you know, the Musketeer, little Mickey hat. Um, so adorable. Um, and it says Christmas 2016. So we always like to have something with the date. Um, so this was $24.99 plus $6 because it had the personalization on it, um, which we knew going in this was what. Usually I wouldn't spend that much on an ornament, but um, we always get one for our trips. And um, and actually I wanted an ornament from Coronado Springs where we stayed, and they didn't have any. They were out. So I, will, um, I went last night on the Disney Parks app. Um, because if you ever forget something, you can always go to the Disney Parks app. And it has stuff from all the resorts, from all of the... I mean, I haven't even dug into it as much as I should. But um, they have all those things. And so um, you can go to the Disney Parks app and you can find stuff. Um, here is our bands from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. Um, just wanted you guys to see what they look like. Again, another bag of candy. Oh my goodness. Um, this was actually, we have two of these. I don't know where the other one is, but um, this is because they have outlawed having the um, Disney uh, guns, the bubble guns, or swords and stuff like that. Um, but we saw swords, but the guns, they have outlawed guns at the parks. So um, this is the Disney, basically their version of a bubble gun. Gun. Some of you people hate it. My children love bubbles. My mother loves bubbles. Um, so she's always buying the girls bubble things. So we actually, she bought all three of the girls this um, there. And it lights up and plays annoying music, shines a little light. The bubbles are gone actually out of this right now. But so there it is with just the noise and the light. Uh, <laughs> but the bubbles actually come out amazing. And um, they kind of stack up. It's just a super great. This was like eighteen dollars. Um, usually I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's gonna stupid. But every toy that we buy there, the light up. Mom likes to buy them the light up, bubbly kind of things. We actually still have all of them, and they still work from when, even when Libby was a baby. Um, so as much as my girls, they played with it while we were there. It was very difficult to like dump and spill. This was super awesome. So if you're down there, you should get one if your kids are into that. Um, it, they, they didn't cause messes. It's just loud and annoying. There's no way of not getting the music on. Um, it's Little Mermaid. They do have just a plain blue one for boys um, if they're not into Little Mermaid. So, but Little Mermaid is what they have for girls. I would have liked to have seen other things. Um, maybe Frozen would have been cool, but Nope, this is what they had. So it was pretty awesome, though. Good, good buy. Well worth the money. And then, so um, Libby 
went on, and I don't think it's in here. I think she has stolen it and taken it into the playroom. Oh, wait, let me see. Bubbles. No. Okay, so Libby got one of the stuffed little animals that is, she went on Expedition Everest. So she got the little Yeti, and I'll try to put a picture of it up. Um, since it's not in here, she couldn't handle it. So she got the Yeti that's like this, that um, has the, the blanket and all the stuff. Um, and Gabby, we said, what do you want? What, you know, they have so many things. And I said, what, what do you want? She said, I want a puppy. So we found this little lady baby. And so she had her little blanket and she had, and she was just so cute. So we ended up getting this for her and um, she just held it and she loved it. And she, this was just amazing. And again, this is so soft. Oh my gosh. So I think these were like $23. I don't know. The tags are off. And the blankets come off or, you know, they can play with it. But they just love it. And I'm um, super adorable. And then, so speaking of the little blankets, Emma likes Stitch. So we got her the Stitch doll, which she is really wanting to have it. Um, I don't know. I think her mom, I think Mandy wants it more. But, um, but it's adorable, this little Stitch thing. So... We got the Stitch doll, and um, that's what we got for her. So they all got the, like, little baby dolls with the blankets. And then inside, of course, another pin. Inside our, um, our bag from Michelle, she got us an Olaf doll. So um, we're getting ready to have our Forever Sisters party. So our Olaf doll will be part of the display and use it. But they just love Olaf, so this is going to be fun. And then now we're on our last bag of things. And of course, we got more pins. And then, so um, I've already worn this twice. <laughs> so this is what it looks like in the bag um, after it's been washed a couple of times. But this is my frozen shirt. There we go. And um, just love it. It is, it's kind of open in the back, but when you wear it, it actually flips together. Um, I'm not sure how much this costs. I don't remember. Um, we bought it. They had it in all kinds of stores. I think I ended up getting it at Downtown Disney or Disney Springs. Um, but because I had a, a, a coupon for 10 or 10 or 20 percent off from one of my food meals that we had, so you could use it at Disney Springs. So that's what we did. And um, another one. This one's Gabby's adoption. So we got this, and I'm going to wear this for the girls forever sisters party. So part of that, um, that uh, this wand, the wishing star thing, this is what you're supposed to do. I don't know. So here's the girls' wishing stars from Cinderella's royal table. Then... Again, I've worn this shirt, too because um, it was cold and we were in Wisconsin and it was adorable. So um, this is another shirt that I got at Disney Springs. I don't remember the cost of it, but I just fell in love with it and it's one of those things that you just gotta have. So, and weather's supposed to be turning this week, so we'll see what happens. But here is my, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. So look how cute. It's just a long sleeve gray. It's a real thin, sweatery type material. Um, just real comfortable. And I love the sequins. And it's just cute. So well, probably the pair of leggings would be adorable. Um, and then, let me see. It's got some buttons in there. And I think this is the end. Our very last thing. So when you leave, when you leave Pigment um, in Epcot, one of the things that they have is they have a um, a place where you get pictures with all kinds of different things, um, you know, different characters and things that they kind of impose your face on it. So we got this. This is just the girls, um, being sisters put in a frozen frame and then we ended up getting for some of the girls aunts um, 
these different keychains that have the same picture on it. But what was awesome is we also got a digital copy so that we can use this for when we have their Forever Sister Frozen Party. So, um, lots and lots of cool things that you can do with it. So you get the digital. Um, I think this was like $23 and then we paid like $10 for the keychains. Um, and it included the digital picture. I'm not sure how much, but it was, um, and we used our Disney gift cards on them. So, you know, we could do that. But um, it's a great little keepsake. I know Mandy and Chris have one of like a Star Wars one where they put their faces in there. So that is our Disney haul. This is all the stuff we got. Tons of stuff. I feel like there's more things that we didn't get. I know the Yeti that we didn't get a picture of that, but um, we'll stick something in here or maybe make it the, the thumbnail. But um, that's all of our things. We And we virtually got all of this because of swag bucks. So if you have not signed up for Swagbex, go ahead and I will put a link in the description so that you can join and earn free money and pay for your Disney trip because it's worth it. Um, awesome. So, okay, so next week, don't forget because Samuel will be here and we'll be periscoping and Facebook living um, the big event you don't want to miss. You want to be able to see him first. Um, and then we'll have some pictures and stuff of him next week. So, awesome. All right, you guys, have a magical day.